This is a uh, double boiler going with uh, Van Aken clay over there. That's the green that I just melted down. Um, over here, please don't pay any attention to my filthy, filthy apartment. I haven't really had time to clean it. Uh, you know, working on this. This is the mug. Um, here's the pantyhose glued around the top edge of the mug. The ball on this uh, thing is in there. I have this wing nut holding it on so that even if I do this, it's just about at uh, uh, level, you know, like a drum, so that way when I dip it in there, uh, it'll come out like, a, like I want it to. And so that way, once it's done, this will be like a green uh, drum uh, skin, and I'll be able to animate it by pushing this thing up and down once I hit the drum. Um, cool. So, let's watch this happen. This, just like everything else, is a major experiment. I have no idea if this is going to be successful at all. Let's hope that it is. Now we keep our fingers crossed and hope that it cools to look like I want it to. I got it sitting over there. There will obviously be a lot of sculpting that goes around uh, to smooth out those edges and things. Um, make it look more like it's part of the creature's body. Uh, yeah, <laughs> kind of nervous. Hope that it works. Let me move this to a cooler area. Turn that off because I don't need it anymore. Okay, I'm gonna take the paper off. Let's see, hopefully this worked. a little bit warm. It moves like I want it to. I'm going to dip it again because I don't like seeing the glue piece over there. Maybe I'll dip it and then tighten this up. This uh, has turned out extremely well. Uh, this is part of that danger shelf unit that I had built. I drilled a little hole in it so I could put the little threaded um, uh, rod that feeds my um, rubber ball animation mechanism. I don't, uh, <laughs> are there any technical terms for any of this crap? <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's a little rough, obviously, but I smooth this out, and it's going to look uh, amazing. Um, and you can see, as I uh, fiddle with it, uh, this hole's a little bit tight. Take this 
down for a second. All things go, all things go, good things in All things know, all things know, we sold our clothes to the same. I don't mind, I don't mind, I don't mind, I don't mind. So you can see it's sort of coming up and down here like I want it to. The light's kind of crap on it right now. In the van with my friend, we slept in parking lots. I've got to uh, figure out a way to, to manipulate it without actually moving the mug. Um, I'll probably just have to use my hand. Right now I have a nut holding that rod in place. Um, I had figured that I could put a wing nut on the bottom of the rod, like uh, going up, like it would for a regular tie down. But that doesn't work because the force of that is pulling the thing down. Um, so it wouldn't actually hold it up flat like a drum. Um, Gravity would already pull it down, so if I the wing nut on there, it's not really doing anything. Um, so I have this nut here just so I can sculpt the thing um, on this side, so it will balance against it on the piece of wood here. So what's going to happen most likely in animation is that I'm just probably going to have to keep my hand here, um, unless I can think of something better. <laughs> I don't really know. I don't really have the answer for that right now. But I'm very happy with the way that this turned out. I'm very happy. So let me smooth this out and finish uh, sculpting the guy on there. And then I'll show you what it all looks like at the end. Cool. If I was